Hi, this is Diane Chapman, and I just wanted to show you a little trick I had for sorting out my recipes. I'm going to open up my recipe section, and as you can see, I have a ton of recipes here. So I click on the first one to see what it is and if it's really something I want to keep. And it's Pinterest, which I consider a pain in the butt. So I'm going to delete this link. So let's try this rhubarb bread, which I actually tried and is very good. So I want to save this recipe. So I'm going to go up here and click and choose to print. But rather than actually printing it, to my printer, I've chosen to save it as a PDF. And I save it and I just dump it, as you can see up here, on my desktop for now, because it's easy to find that way. So I save it. Now, let's say I've gone through, oh, after I do that, I go to my recipes and I delete that particular one because I'm going to save it and I these are just too hard to figure out it's easier if I can sort them in a better manner so we'll move this down and I'll go to my desktop and I've got all these recipes that I've saved today so I'm going to shove this to the side and then I'm going to open Microsoft OneNote, which I happen to love. And this is my recipe uh, notebook. So I have it sorted out with all different recipes and it's still got the pictures so I can easily see and what I want and under desserts, there's the names so I can go through and I've sorted all these. So I'm gonna move this and drag it to the side. Now one of these, wait, let me open this again so I can click on this one so it's in the front. This is my PDFs to sort. I'm gonna drag these that are all over my desktop and shove them into this sorting file. And then I can go through and move these into the proper categories under breakfast, salads, whatever. So I'm going to click and drag this over to a new page and click insert printout. It zips over to Adobe to get the screenshot and then it puts it here. So now I have this recipe right here and it's Country Morning Skillet and all the information is there. So I'm gonna shove this back over here. Now I don't need this on my desktop, so I delete it. And then I add a new page to this sorting one and click it over here. Bingo. And I delete it here. One more time, I add a new page. Cream cheese mints as a printout. Give it a second. That was kind of a big page. Come on, you could do it. There we go. Okay, and then I'll delete this one. That one had a lot of stuff on it, so it was a big page. Now I'll open this up. As you can see, this had a lot of stuff. I may have to delete some of those screens like this particular one, maybe this was a bunch of ads. So I'll delete that and clean it up later. But now I have these PDFs to sort. So these are cake pops. So that would go under desserts or maybe I wanna create a new one just for cakes. I have pies and desserts over here and I may reorganize that later. 
but we're going to go with cakes over here. So I have this PDF uh, to sort folder. I right click on it and I choose move and then I go down and say move it to cakes. Now that one is under cakes and there's a, a blank one which I'm going to delete. It, every time you start a new section you end up with one blank page which is a little annoying to me. Here's a country breakfast so we right click and that means using the right mouse button, not the normal left one. You click, you say move, and that goes under breakfasts. And we move that one. And maybe I want to do holidays or candies or something like that. So I can just keep sorting them out here. And then when it's time for to look up breakfast ideas, here's some things that... I wanted to keep the information is all there and it's all sorted in my recipe OneNote. So I hope that helps. If you have OneNote, it's a pretty nice place to sort things out.